A few years ago, I was at a PTC technical committee meeting, and one of the attendees asked PTC to create a feature that would represent the actual material removed during manufacturing operations, like a grinding wheel. And I thought, doesn't the helical sweep already do that? And it turns out it does not. And PTC said, yes, we're working on it. And it turns out it's really hard to do. Well, in Creo Parametric 5.0, they solved the problem, and you can create what's called a volume helical sweep. And to create one of those features, you go to the sweep dropdown, and we'll choose volume helical sweep. And on the dashboard, you'll notice that the references tab is highlighted because the first thing that you need is the helix sweep profile, and you can either select an existing sketch or you can define one inside of the tool. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to sketch on the datum plane called front. Let me hit the middle mouse button to jump into sketch mode and change to my sketch view orientation. The first thing that you need to put in here is a center line, and I'm just going to put it right in the middle of the part. And now we will use the line tool to create our profile. And I'm going to sketch it, and I like to sometimes sketch it beyond the length of the part just to make sure that it completely intersects through the end. And for the diameter, let's use a value of 6. And now that I'm done, I can hit the right mouse button and use the check mark to exit out of sketch mode. And now that I have a Helix profile, if you click on this button on the dashboard, you'll be able to see it. And now I can click on the pitch and adjust the value. Maybe I want it to have more loops around there. And the section tab is highlighted in red because now I need to define the section that I'm going to use. And you can select an existing sketch or create the sketch right inside of the tool. And for this first one, I'm going to create a rectangle. And then let's change this value and this one over here. Again, we can hold down the right mouse button to check mark out of sketch mode. And there you see a preview of the geometry. All right, let's take a few look at a few of the other different options. Now that I have a section, I recommend you turn on this button to show the 3D object. And this will especially help when we go to the adjustments. But before that, we'll take a look at pitch. You can have a variable pitch. And so, for example, we can add pitch. And by default, it's going to give you the pitch at the end point. If I choose maybe a value of 2 over here, it will interpolate from the 5 to the 2, from the start to the end. And instead of using uh, just the start point and the end point, if you add another pitch value, you could do actual length. So, for example, if I wanted it, I have to know that this is a length of 24. Actually, that's the pitch value. Uh, let me change the pitch there to 2 and the value here to 24. And also, if I go back to the References tab and edit the Helix profile, you can also drop points onto your profile. Let's change that value to 6 and hit the check mark. And now, if I go back to the Pitch tab and add Pitch, you could also do it by reference and select that point that you dropped on the location and change the pitch value there as well. Next up, the adjustments. And for the adjustments, you can tilt the 3D object about the x-axis or the y-axis. So for example, if I change this to a value of 15, you can see how it's rotating my tool. Ah, a, little too, a little too much over there. Let's go to back to 15. And also you can rotate about the z-axis instead when you are creating it. All right, let me show you a couple of other different things. And first off, I'm going to get rid of these pitch values over here. I'm just going to use a constant pitch because I'm going to make some big changes. All right, let's go to the References tab first. And I'm going to edit the profile. And I'm just going to get rid of what I already have in here to show you that 
Alternatively, when you are sketching your profile, you could actually even lock into the silhouette edge of your object. So let's create this over here. And I'm just going to use a value of 20 this time. Let's check mark out of Sketcher. And for the adjustments, let me make sure that's zero for what I'm going to do next. And now I need to adjust the section. And this time, let me use my friend Squiggle Trim to get rid of these entities in here. And I'm going to create an arc. Oh yeah, and you have to have an axis, excuse me, a, uh, a line on the y-axis of the sketch. If you don't have that, then it's going to give you an error. And let's use the right mouse button to change this to a diameter dimension. And I like that value of 0.25. Let's right mouse click and check mark to get out. And there you can see the feature that's being created in the model. Let's adjust the pitch. And so that way, I have my volume helical sweep being created in the part. I hope you really enjoy this tool and play around with it. And I also hope that you like this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.